In this video, I'm going to repair some threads. My name is Tony, and this is Tony Live TV. If you're a subscriber, you know I installed the injectors. And those injectors are held down with little clips and little short bolts. And unfortunately, the very first injector that I installed in that video, the bolt hole stripped. At first, I thought, you know, it was, seemed like it was really easy to strip. And then I pulled up an old video of when I took it out of the vehicle. And if you look, that number five clip area right there, it's shiny and there's hardly any threads right there. And that's why these things just pulled right on out. It's, it, it was already stripped. You can see that I have my chase tool sitting right there, but unfortunately I didn't catch it because the chase does not have any torque behind it. Shortly after uploading that video, I got a comment where a guy had similar problems. So I thought I would use this opportunity to show you how I would do this job. You know, there are a couple of different ways that you can help support my channel. One way, of course, and probably the best and simplest way is to click the subscribe button. And while you're at it, why not click that bell too so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. If you find my videos helpful and I might have saved you a buck or two, why not click on the thanks button down below and support this channel? These are all the tools I'm gonna to be using for this job. You're going to need a ratchet, an extension, and a five millimeter hex to get that clip off. Something to cover up your injector hole. You don't want anything to fall into the injector holes. I'm gonna be using a helicoil for this job. So I'm gonna need a, some cutting oil and then a helicoil kit. And in that helicoil kit, you got your installation tool, your tap, and your actual helicoil. Let's take a closer look at this. So this is what comes in your helicoil kit. This is your helicoil installation tool, and you get 10 helicoils and one tap. What you don't get are drill bits. Now you need a quarter inch drill to bore that enough for that tap but I'm also gonna use a 1564. So I'm gonna start with that one first. And that helps ensure that your hole stays round rather than oval. As this thing starts to bite, you can get an oval hole. So the least amount of increments, the better. So the one thing I don't like about the helicoil is they give you this type of a tip. But you know, the aftermarket ones, they come with a little T handle. So it, they're easier to use. They're cheaper to purchase. You might want to go that route. You can see how small that spring is, but you can also see how small that bolt is. Mercedes claims that you can't purchase this bolt. If you look closely at that bolt, you'll find out it's the exact same bolt that they use on the engine oil pan. Same length, same size, everything about it is identical to this one. All right, let's go ahead and take this stuff over to the engine. The first thing I did was take a chase, an M6 chase, and chase the bolt hole. And the reason why I did that is so I could thread in a bolt like this one. So I know exactly what that angle and everything looks like. I have another camera angle here. And what I've done is I've created a laser marker. So now I can take a line and see the angle of everything, and then that matches up even with my other angle. That is a 90 from this angle. And this obviously is an advantage that you're not, most people aren't gonna have. I'm gonna start with a 1564 first. All I have to do is line up my lines, that one and that one. There we go. I'm gonna clean out that hole now. Now I'm ready for the quarter inch and final one. Get it lined up there.
Bring it back out. Now I'll clean that. So I've cleaned the hole. Everything looks good. Here's another angle. That's from the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this rod in that hole. It's a little bit wobbly because it's bigger than that side, but let's see how she lines up. Look at that. That looks good. And there's your other one. So our hole is in great shape. Now we just need to tap it. Again, it's marked exactly the same. We'll get that lined up. There she goes. Now she's starting to bite good. And follow our hole. Perfect. There we are. That was very, very successful. I've now cleaned this with brake clean. There's an above shot. You can see it's perfectly clean in there. So we can see where that is. Let's get rid of this mark. We don't need that anymore. You want it just below the surface there. Right about there. There I am. Now I'm below the surface all the way around. One thread looks good. There's what it looks like from the top. We need to break off that tang with a center punch. All right, now I'm going to suck that out of there. Let's see how this lines up. Goes in really nice. There we go. Let's see how this clip works. First, we got to, I have to remove this thing here. Perfect. There you go. Nice and tight. You know, when you tighten these things down, there's no reason to crank on it. If you think about what this is doing, all it's doing is holding down your fuel injector. That's it. I prefer helicoil over any other method so far that I've used. So there you go. That's how I would make that type of a repair. Thanks again for watching.